The Climate Watch tonight, the Boston Harbor front has a new feature that's designed to help wildlife flourish and keep the water clean. Two living seawalls are now set up along the city's flood barriers. And WBZ's Lisa Hughes is here. Lisa, it's part of an effort to turn gray infrastructure green. Yeah, Courtney and David, Boston's waterfront is full of opportunity. But right now, the researchers at Stone Living Lab say much of the space along the shoreline is wasted. That lab recently partnered with an Australian marine science program to make better use of Boston's flood walls by adding what you see right here, these special textured panels. The panels in East Boston and in the seaport act as a habitat for some of the ocean's smallest creatures. The mollusks and the plants that live here now will help feed fish and marine birds and filter the water. These panels are meant to mimic a natural rocky intertidal habitat. We began installation last month. We're really excited to learn from this prototype about how these panels perform in Boston Harbor and see where else along the shoreline they could help benefit the city. Scientists who are keeping an eye on these walls say even though they have only been in for a couple of weeks, they're already turning into a popular spot for the marine life. This is, and this is interesting, it's actually the first installation of a living seawall in North America. But Boston researchers found out about this program, that this even existed when it was presented as a finalist for the prestigious Earthshot Prize. Courtney? Hmm, very fascinating. We yeah. hope it is a success. Definitely. Lisa, thank you.